Okay, so for this conversation, I'm going to use the term clues to describe um, the process of the creative uh, angles opening up to me. Sure. And if there's anything that's happening right now, it's that I don't want to be seen. I want to be alone with this process. I don't want to be with people. I don't want to participate at all. And that's yeah. one part of the theme. And another thing is, I've got this image in my head of a tropical island that there's only one person on. And on that tropical island, it's sunset, and there are both the most terrifying monsters and the most beautiful animals, but they, they are of no danger to the person that's on the island. Bear with me for a minute here, because I'm just going to talk a lot of shit, and some of it may or not make sense, but I just want to riff for a moment, figure it out. The other things that have been playing into it is my thoughts on codependency, on how you can basically waste tons of your time and other people's time by not recognizing when you are not tending to your needs because you are looking for the approval of others. And the idea of empath also plays into right now, you know, I passively participate in the bullshit that's going on in the media about, you know, Trump or Putin or Trudeau or any of these politicians in Korea and all this kind of these, the, the fear mongering that goes into it and just like the amount of terrified people and shootings and all this sort of stuff that's just profoundly upsetting, really, if you let it be. But trying to figure out why this is happening. You know, why are humans allowing this to happen? I mean, other than overpopulation, which is certainly a part of it because it's just too many people for our individuality to come through, there's a real sense that empathy is being bred out of the species. And in, in a sense, it's like, if you feel for other people, it's a, it's a, it's a weakness. But I also think that, that viewing empathy as an artistic pursuit, we still resonate on some level with the fact that we're all connected. This clue that I feel is playing into what this album is about is that through empathy we realize that we realize that we are both the positive and the negative and the thing that ultimately defines our art or our lives is our ability to make a choice at any moment between those two things it's sunset on this tropical island and you're the only person it's the first person perspective right yeah all this stuff is just like artistic musing it's the same thing that happens every time See, what's this? I just want to show you this here. This is really cool. Typically, each album has a color for, for me, like Ocean Machine was blue and uh, Synchestra was bronze and Accelerated Evolution was light blue and Ziltoid is purple and Strapping is red. All these things have real defined colors. But this one is all the colors. creative front what I'm finding is happening is because I'm the clues are all the colors I'm frustrated in a, in a very interesting way because every day I write something different usually I by this point of a process I'm like oh, okay I've got four of these type of songs and that makes me feel 
a certain way and all those other clues in my environment those four songs very clearly make me think of those things therefore that's the direction and then it's really easy to pinpoint it but with this one even within one song there's like a ton of colors it's like it's heavy but it's orchestral and it's quiet but it's brutal and it's like but it's it's also what's also really interesting about this for me is i'm struggling with my connection to it because before I had made these sort of observations to myself of how I connect with music and why maybe the goals that I pursued of like being famous and touring and everything were not all that it was cracked up to be all those things prior to this record made it so when I was participating in the creation of a record I was like obsessed with the music like I couldn't let it go it was always with me and this isn't and I find that really um, scary I know it's really great stuff but I'm not, I'm not like possessed by it in the ways that I have before therefore I'm thinking on a practical level oh my god people aren't gonna like this but once five o'clock comes, dude, I let it go. Like, I just, like, I I shut it down at 4.57, and by five o'clock, I'm exercising, and I'm not thinking about it anymore. I've never done that before, man, and it's like, I don't know if it's just maybe it's like, maybe it's not as good, or maybe I'm just older, or maybe my connection to it is shifting, and I'm just, I just don't know how, how it feels yet, because it is different, and I have changed. But that's, that's frightening for me on some level. Maybe we can conclude our conversation with this is, as of today, I think it's interesting that the album contains lots of different styles. You know, some brutal stuff, some like theater stuff, some prog stuff, some pop stuff, some hard rock stuff, some ugly stuff. You know, that, because that way I can take like these 60 songs and just choose the absolute 10 best. And then it would be a record full of that, which I've never done before. You know, sometimes I'll sacrifice a really good song for the vibe and then put the oh, yeah. really good song onto the, onto the bonus disc. But this time, maybe if I can find a way to make it all work together, that could be a way that could also play into the whole idea of, you know, monsters and animals playing together, right? Who knows? I don't know yet.